temperature, they're going to vary with the temperature if I connect them in series. What conditions will come? Means, though the temperature, when it varies, how to find out the effective resistance of such conductors? Okay, got this. So, these are some uh, types of uh, small basic formulas you have to remember. Okay, let's go for series parallel one, if they are brought in series. So first, so the resistance of them at R01, R01, at, at, at what happened, at zero degrees Celsius. So this should be equal to, say some R0, <coughs> at T degrees Celsius. Uh, what will happen to the resistance of both the thing will change. The effective resistance of this also will change. Let this be alpha one. Let this be alpha two. Alpha, alpha, we assume it to be remaining constant. Uh, what will happen to effective alpha of the material? So what is that effective alpha of the material? I want expression for alpha in terms of R01, R02, alpha1, alpha2, and any other like in terms of change in temperature or any other thing. How to calculate effective alpha? Uh, what is R1? You can write from here. R01, 1 plus alpha t. What is R2? R02, 1 plus alpha2. Uh, what is R0? R0 should be equal to R01 plus R02, no? Uh, what is R? R should be equal to R1 plus R2. So I'll, I'll, I'll equate, no? So what is R? Uh, R is equal to R0 1 plus alpha t go to this will be r naught 1 1 plus alpha t 1 alpha t alpha 2 so r naught plus r naught alpha t r naught 1 plus r naught 1 alpha 1 t plus r naught 2 So this R0 equal to R01 plus R02, that will cancel out. So we'll end up with R0 alpha is equal to R01 alpha 1. So divided by R0. So what is further? R01 alpha 1, R02 alpha 2. Uh, what is R0 value? R not one plus R not two. So individually the resistors are having thermal coefficient. Suppose this is a copper, this is aluminium. I'll connect them in series. Then what happened to effective alpha? So when you are trying to calculate what will be the temperature of the effective resistance as I raise the temperature, the resistance of that combination will increase. So what is that effective resistance R? For that weapon, we should know what is the effective alpha of this particular material. So if I want to replace these two with an equivalent resistance, what should be the alpha of that material is given by this formula. So I think uh, now uh, to calculate what is the effective resistance, I think I should know alpha, no? Or I should measure R1, R2, then I should add up. Or most of the information is measuring R1, R2, what will be given for us? Alpha 1, alpha 2, and the change in temperature. How to calculate the effective resistance at higher temperature? So if you know alpha, then you can come and substitute back here. Okay, got this. So they, when they are in series, what happens? The effective coefficient of thermal resistance of a material should be this one. If I want to replace these two with an A, equivalent material. 
with another material what should be the alpha of that material the, the, the thing are you able to understand what i am discussing <coughs> i can measure r1 i can measure r2 i'll say that okay there is a value of r suppose if i can't measure r1 r2 but i i know alpha 1 alpha 2 and t and i know r0 